You can hate him, you can love him, or somewhere in between, like me, I guess. But does Nelson Aguilar really deserve a bigger role in 2017? <sighs> I've talked about the guy enough, you know, and it's probably getting irritating. And trust me, it's getting irritating to myself just talking about him. Um, but this is past all the hype that was once going around during OTAs. This is all just about 2017, since right now we're in that midway point where we're waiting for training camp and then waiting for preseason, and right now nothing's happening. That's basically what's happening right now. And I just wanted to take the time to think about Nelson Aguilar's situation because this is basically his last chance to be a Philadelphia Eagle and maybe even be a wide receiver in the NFL, unless if New England picks him up and makes him into a goddamn superstar. Who the hell knows what'll happen to him after this season, but does he deserve a bigger role in 2017, I'm going to come out and be honest with you guys and just say yes. We pushed him to be the number two guy, number one guy, right out, right off the bat, you know. And maybe maybe that was a little wrong. Maybe that was the right thing to do, and he just screwed up. But it wasn't all his fault. Chip Kelly didn't help him out at all, even though he had more success in Chip Kelly's system than in Doug Peterson's system last year. But that's besides the point. The point that I'm trying to get around is that it's just, it's just complicated. <laughs> um, with the new guys that we're bringing into this, uh, this wide receiver core, um, with the absence of Jordan Matthews as of right now, it would make sense just to give him a bigger role in this upcoming NFL season. Um, and seeing that his role has gotten worse and worse as the past two years have gone on. It's not really going to help his case if we don't give him more of a chance this year. Um, but with your number one and number two guys marked, you know, just checked in to their spots instantly, Alshon Jeffrey and Jory Smith being the number one and number two guys, number three is a big question mark due to Jordan Matthews' health. And if Nelson Aguilar does land that third spot, I would honestly be excited to see the, what he can do in the slots and what he'll be able to produce. That's just me. I know a lot of you people are probably going to disagree. I know, a pro pro I know a lot of you guys want him to be gone, but it's not going to happen. And the only way we can really make sure that we want him gone or if he should actually stay is by giving him a bigger chance, a, big, a bigger role this upcoming season in 2017. Um, and will it be tough? Yes, because when you got people like Alshon Jeffrey and Torrey Smith, they're definitely going to get a lot of balls thrown at them. But at the same time, it doesn't mean that nobody else can get open while they're taking most of the heat in the secondary, you know? It, it, it'll all be answered later on. I mean, we still got a ways to go before preseason, before week one. Um, but it's coming up fast, guys. This is our last week of June. Um, and right <laughs> in like two and a half weeks, we'll be... Uh, We'll be in training camp, so tell me what you guys think in the comments down below. I'm going to try not to talk about Nelson Aguilar too much. It's just nothing else is happening, and it's so boring. So just tell me what you guys think in the comments. If you have any other thing you would like me to talk about, tell me in the comments down below. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out, and have a great day, guys.